When my favorite camera brand is announcing a new camera right in my favorite city on earth, well, there's no way I'm missing this. So Gear Iguana and I got on a plane together and headed for New York. the Fuji section. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> it's that away. <laughs> well, hi everyone, and welcome to a very special edition of Pal to Tech. You'll have to forgive this simple background as I am shooting this in my hotel room in New York. I am absolutely exhausted. It's late. I wanted to get something out to you today. This is Friday. I always do a video Friday. And just because I'm in New York, no excuse not to do a video. So that's why I'm doing the video for today. However, I am doing a part two of this video that will follow up with more specifics. Let's get into it. The X-H2 was announced today. This is the second promised X-H camera of the year. The brand new Fujifilm X-H2 camera features the brand new X-Trans CMOS 5 HR 40 megapixel sensor. The sensor contains a revised enhanced image processing algorithm that's designed to increase the resolution but without, in Fujifilm's words, compromising signal to noise ratio. Fuji has promised that this new 40 megapixel sensor is the APS sensor with the highest resolution in the world. It will give you a 7728 by 5100 152 resolution image. Now the camera body is pretty much identical to the X-H2S that was released this past May. But under the hood, this new camera packs a lot of features. It uses a base ISO of 125 and promises to have a very impressive low light performance. You can extend the ISO all the way up to 51,200 for still photography and up to 12,800 for video shooting. And you can extend the ISO all the way down in the opposite direction to 64 for still shooting. Now here's something really cool. With this new X-H2, you get a 1 180 thousandth of a shutter speed, 180 thousandth of shutter speed in electronic shutter on this new camera. Sorry, I'm tired on this new camera. I actually got to pick up and handle the camera right after the presentation. And the very first thing I did was put it in that high shutter speed because I just couldn't believe it. And yet there it was. It was so cool to play with and see it in action. The camera also has a seven stop built in in IBIS just like the X-H2S and the X-T4. So now you're getting a full 40 megapixel sensor combined with IBIS. And it also has something brand new to the X series of cameras, Pixel Shift Multi-Shot. It allows you to set the camera to take a series of shots and then between each one, it shifts it by just half a pixel, which combines everything into one much larger resolution image. So for example, your 40 megapixel image becomes a 160 megapixel image. And this pixel shifted 160 megapixel image has zero false color. And by the time you're watching this video, Friday morning, I will be out in New York City handling and testing this camera with autofocus. So I can't report on it tonight, but stay tuned and I will make a special video covering the hands-on features of this new camera. Let's talk now about its video capabilities. Well, it's official. Fuji has finally given us 8K 30 frames per second video recording in 422 10-bit color recorded internally to either the SD card or a CF Express card type B. Like the X-H2S, it fully supports Apple ProRes 422, 422 HG, and 422 LT, as well as ProRes 422 Proxy. And you can output 12-bit raw video via HDMI in either Apple Pro 
ProRes or Blackmagic ProRes formats. And in addition to F-Log, you also get F-Log 2, which gives you up to 13 stops plus of dynamic range. Now, this camera uses the exact same fan option as the X-H2S and can record 8K 30 frames per second for up to 160 minutes. Now, there's also this new manual focus assist focus meter I'd like to check out, demonstrate, and tell you more about in a future video. Now, there are many more features on this camera I'm not going to cover tonight, most of them very similar or identical to the X-H2S. I will leave a link to the full specification of this camera in the description down below this video, and I encourage you to check it out to see everything that this camera has to offer. The X-H2 camera will be priced at $2,000, and it will be available this month. Now, next on the list is the 56mm f1.2 RWR lens. Now this is sort of a sequel lens to the original 56mm Fuji lens. And this time around, it is all grown up. It's got 13 elements in eight groups. And the aperture ranges from f1.2 all the way to f16 with an 11 blade aperture. It weighs 445 grams and has a filter size of 65 millimeters. But check this out, are you ready for it? It has a minimum focus distance of 50 centimeters. Definitely more to come on this lens if I ever get a test unit to test. This lens will sell for $999 and it will also be available this month. And finally, we have the brand new GF 20 to 35 millimeter F4 RWR lens for the GFX system. This is obviously the new wide angle lens for GFX and has 108 degrees as a diagonal field of view. This is eight degrees wider than the GF 23 millimeter 100 degrees. It weighs 720 grams, has a filter size of 82 millimeters, and a minimum focus distance of 35 centimeters. The lens will sell for $2,500 and like the other products will be available later this month. Okay, so those are all the specs and I probably could have included more of them. I gotta tell you, I am so tired right now, I can barely think straight. This has been a whirlwind of a trip so far. And before I go, I just wanted to say that being here in New York City and going to this Fuji event and, you know, connecting with the people at Fuji or the YouTubers that work on making Fuji videos has been an incredible experience. I've met some wonderful people. I've had some incredible experiences here in New York. And I want to say a very special thank you to Fuji for inviting me to this event. I really appreciate it. It was an absolute honor. And more than anything else, the Fuji family is very strong indeed. And I'm going to do a part two of this video, I promise, with a lot more details because I'm... You hear that? You hear that? <laughs> I'm in New York City. It's so noisy. <laughs> I'm going crazy. I am going to do a part two of this video once I've had a chance to have some hands-on experience with the X-H2. I cannot wait to show it to you. In the meantime, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video or found it entertaining, found it helpful, or I can't even say my outro. I'm so tired. Anyhow, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it the like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great weekend. This is Pal Detect signing off from New York City. Take care.